Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make some Easter treats. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little notification button. For these Easter treats it's really simple, there are hardly any ingredients. Icing sugar, lots of chocolate, vanilla extract, a bit of butter, condensed milk and of course Easter eggs. To start with all we're going to do is put the chocolate into a bowl, the butter, oops, doesn't want to come off. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a tin of condensed milk. All I'm going to do now is put it over a pan of simmering water and let it all melt together. You need to keep an eye on it because you don't want it to catch and, and burn. And then we're just going to melt all this together. While the chocolate is melting, I am just going to smash these eggs up just a little bit so that you get some chocolatey bits in the uh, the So, and there I am with my trusty meat mallet, and now I'm going to smash them to pieces. <laughs> They're quite hard, these are. This is nearly as satisfying as my karate lesson last week, where I was a punching <laughs> punch back. <laughs> still got some of them whole. can't cut them up if they're too big. There we go, some lovely crushed eggs. Aren't they good? <laughs> Gonna have one. While it's melting, I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm just going to prepare my tin. This is baking parchment. I'm gonna screw it up because it makes it softer and easier to manipulate into the corners of my tin. There we go. I'm just sort of press it in. Now that's ready for when the mixture is needed to go into it. There we go. Perfect. It's all melted now. Look at it. It's lovely. And I'm just going to add some icing sugar. I'm going to sieve it first because you don't want lumps in. Whew, breathing in sugar. <laughs> And now we're going to mix this in. Takes quite a bit of mixing. Oh, <laughs> you've got it all over me. <laughs> Gently mixing it in and folding so that you don't get covered in icing sugar. Now you leave it to stand now for about five minutes because you're going to have to add a three quarter, hold on, it's two thirds of the Easter eggs, but you don't want to put them in too soon because otherwise the chocolate will melt into all of this and it'll leave streaks. You want some of it to melt because you want a sort of marble effect, but you don't want them to melt completely into your fudge mixture. So we're just going to leave it to stand for five minutes. That is five minutes gone. So I'm just going to add now two thirds of my eggs. And now I'm going to pour it into my prepared tin. I'm going to spread it around, flatten it out. And I'm just going to cover the top with the rest of the Easter eggs, sprinkle them over. Use the back of my spatula just to press them in. 
and all that's left now is to put it in the fridge and leave it overnight to set. I've always wanted to say this, here's one I made earlier. I'm now going to cut it into centimetre square pieces because it's very, very sweet and you're not going to want to eat a lot of it because it's a treat and it's a sort of fudge bar. Oops. It's also a bit of a workout. <laughs> One off track there, let's cut that one in half. <laughs> and do this side, look at that, is that pretty? Just think, I've got to eat two bars of these. <laughs> two trays. <laughs> no. I know. You question why I'm not fat. You can take some to climbing. That's not a bad chat actually. We've got another tray of Maltesers. <laughs> I'm cutting these into small pieces because this is actually a fudge and you wouldn't want to eat great big blocks of it so a centimetre is about the size that you'd get if you were bought, bought a slab of fudge from a shop and these are great to make with your children because unlike a normal um, fudge recipe you're not boiling sugar and getting it to a high temperature so this is great to make with your children and if you have too much chocolate over Easter make it go even further make things like this they're all chopped up so I am actually going to put mine into little, little bags because I'm giving mine away to friends and family and I'm going to try and put about 10 in each bag yes. five well, actually, maybe more than 10 because that's a bit stingy. <laughs> Oops, that one's not cut off. There we go. And that's a nice size bag. I'm going to tie them around with a ribbon. If you don't want to give them as a, a gift, you could actually scatter them around in nice little small bottles so that people can just take nibbles when they want to. Now, it's like we don't get enough chocolate at Easter, do we? Um, it's a nice size. Gonna... You're going to nick a bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is what I have to contend with when I'm cooking all of these. I have people who keep nicking stuff. <laughs> I'm quite sure that. <laughs> It's really good. <laughs> you could experiment and put other things in, like raisins. You could soak some raisins in some rum and make a sort of rum fudge. And there's lots of things you can do with this recipe. You know, I like to mess around and play with things, so. really pretty. Mm. Sorry, I haven't got my name on it. <laughs> oh. Are you dropping it on the floor? <laughs> there we go, a bit more ribbon. I think we've got enough now for about one more bag. I'm going to finish off putting these in bags, just have a taste because you should always taste what you've made. Well, those are really, really lovely. They're going to be, they're going to go down so well. And people are going to love a lovely homemade gift. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification button and I'll see you all again next time. I'm trying to talk with my mouth. So lovely. Mm, that is so good. Wow. I should not like sweet things. Mm. I'm just going to put them back in my bowl. I think that's about it. Oh, she's so cute.
<laughs> You'll probably film this. Yeah, because I'm quite have, funny actually. <laughs> I am going to now try and open the tin. I hope that so <laughs> it works right. Yesterday, it took me half an hour to open the tin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's nearly. Oh, you yes, first yes, time. First time. <laughs> Thanks. Um, she was stood there, and I went. Oh, well, I had to go like I'm doing it sideways, and I just went. Oh, I went, oh my god. <laughs> And I, and I hit her a few, a few, hit it a few more times. I went, this is really satisfying. <laughs> yeah. That's brilliant. <laughs>